Hello, Puccini friends. Mr. Daniel back here again. Let's keep learning the left hand fingers. This time, number four finger, Gorilla Note G with Big Ben Chimes. Here again is our right hand and left hand picture where we learn all the letters that go with the fingers. And let's take a look here. We've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Guess what? These are all the letters that you will use in music. That means there is no other letter that goes after G in music. What is that? H. There is no H in music. Interesting. So what happens after G in music? We've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What happens after G? It starts all over with A. So you almost have to imagine the next thing after giraffe note G is another A. So if A is over here, what's before it? G. So can you figure out what your new note is for your left hand, your number four left hand. Just like here, if A is over here and right before A is giraffe note G. So here is your new note. Alligator A, what's before alligator A? It is gorilla note G. This song will introduce a new finger as well, left hand number four. You've got cat note C, B note B, alligator note A, and now gorilla note G. That's your newest finger, everybody. Let's take a look at the song and see what kinds of notes are in this song. You start with the treble clef, and the treble clef you play with your right hand. So let's check this out. We've got two whiskers, number one, cat note C. What number is this? This is number three, biggest finger, biggest animal, elephant E. Let's keep going. Number two finger, that's dog note D. And this is the bass clef, everybody. Bass clef tells you to play with your left hand. And look, number four finger. That is our newest note, gorilla note G. All right, and if you see this curved line, that is called a tie. A tie tells you to play this note and it's connected to another number four finger, which is gorilla note G. So you play this note, but you don't play this note. But look, I'm holding my finger for this note. And let's keep going. Is that another number four? Yes, it is, gorilla note G. It goes back up to the right hand. We've got Dog note D, number three, elephant E, biggest finger. And look, whiskers again, cat note C. And what is this again, my friends? A tie, so you play this and you don't play that, but you're still holding. Let's keep going. Still in the right hand, treble clef there. Number three, number two, Number one, two whiskers, and back down to number four, which is our newest finger, Gorilla Note G. And we tie and hold. Is that number four again? Yes, it is. Back up to the right hand. Number two, number three, and number one. Tie, holding. And is that number one again? Yes, a bunch of number ones, actually. And finally, two black keys, first white key, you share cat note C, and this is the middle C position, and here we go, number one, right ten. Tie and hold. Back to number three, right hand. Hold. Number four again.
number ones. Hello there, Mr. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Dan. <laughs> So parents, it's so important that your children do not feel rushed when they're working on a song. I know these videos are coming out daily, and it doesn't mean if they're working on one song today in this video, they should move on to the next one tomorrow. It's completely okay to stay at this video and allow them to work on it till they feel they're ready. It's more important that they learn, have fun with the song, and at the same time also feel accomplished when they are completely mastering the song. So take your time and have fun as you go. I'll see you soon.